Let me show you real quick how to add a new card to Apple Wallet. And whether you wanna add a credit card, a debit card, or even your driver's license, this process is gonna be the same and pretty straightforward. Start by finding and opening the Wallet app on your iPhone. If you don't see it on your home screen, you could also just swipe down anywhere and then search for it inside of here and then choose it when it comes up. Now, if it's your first time ever opening up the Wallet app, then you might be prompted to agree to some terms and conditions or you may have to go through initial setup. Once you're done with that though, and you're here on the main wallet homepage, tap the plus sign on the top right corner of the screen. And again, if this is your first time adding anything to wallet, you may also be asked to set up or enter your face ID or your passcode. This is just gonna be an extra layer of security that you should have set up. Once you're here inside of the add menu, you'll see a bunch of different options for what you can add to Apple Wallet. If you've had cards in the past that are no longer connected, You'll see them here in the previous cards section at the top, or you can add a different Apple account if you wanted to do that. But underneath of that section, you're gonna see the different cards that we can add. And again, you'll be able to add debit or credit cards, a transit card for say a train or a bus, or even your driver's license or state ID. In this example, I wanna add another credit card, so I'll choose debit or credit card. The next screen here just lets you know that by adding cards to Apple Pay, You'll be able to use these to easily send money to friends or make payments anywhere Apple Pay is accepted. Go ahead and tap continue on the bottom. If you're running on a newer iPhone on the latest iOS, you'll now be able to just hold the phone next to the card that you wanna add if your card features a tap to pay option. If not, you can always tap enter card details manually here at the bottom. If you choose this route and you're entering the details manually, just go ahead and make sure your name is correct here and then type in your card number and after that, tap next. After that, enter the expiration and the security code, and again, tap next on the top right. After that, Apple will then reach out and try to verify the card. If the card's supported, go ahead and agree to any other terms or conditions that you may have to. And after that, it'll then be added to your Apple wallet and ready to use. Also, if you wanna use this new card as your default, you can choose use as default card here, or if you'd rather not, just choose not now. If you have an Apple Watch and you want to use Apple Pay through that, you can also now add this card to your watch by choosing Add Now. Now, one thing that you may run into is if your bank card's not supported, you will get an error message that says card not currently supported. If that's the case, then you have to add another one or just wait until the bank that you use does work with Apple Pay. But now that you're all set up, now in the future, anytime that you go to use Apple Pay, we can now choose the card that we just added. And that's how you add a new card to Apple Wallet. Thanks for watching.